Hello friends. Now we will talk about the low frequency response of MOSFET amplifiers. If you have seen the previous topic, my previous video that is low frequency of DZT amplifiers. Remember at low frequencies MOSFET amplifier just like a BZT amplifier behaves like a high pass circuit. High pass RC circuit. But here we have three capacitors, input coupling capacitor, output coupling capacitor and have, that is source resistance bypass capacitor or source bypass capacitor. So there will be three cutoff frequencies associated with this circuit. So this is your common, uh, this, this particular circuit is common source B, uh, MOSFET amplifier. Here we have its uh, AC equivalent circuit of this amplifier. So we will try to find out the cutoff frequencies individually due to the input coupling capacitor, then due to the output coupling capacitor and then due to this source bypass capacitor one by one. So when we consider one capacitor at a time, the remaining capacitors will be replaced by the short circuit. But here I repeat, for finding out the cut of frequency of the circuit, first of all, how can we say that it is behaving like high pass circuit? You can see, you can please see, whenever there is a capacitor in series with the input source or with the output terminal, that circuit is simply high pass capacitor, uh, high pass circuit. You can please recall high pass RC circuit where I discuss about the response of high pass circuit. We have input here. We have output here. This is ca capacitor. This is R. This is high pass circuit where we have capacitor between input side and output side in series branch. Fine. That is high pass RC circuit. And the cutoff frequency for this is given by 1 by 2 pi RC. Fortunately, there is one resistance here. But whenever there are multiple resistances, how do we find? Replace input source by short circuit. Open the terminals of capacitor and find the resistance seen across the terminals of capacitor and that resistance is R equivalent and then it will be R equivalent when the circuit has multiple resistances like this. We will see that one by one and I have already explained in my previous video on B low frequency response of BZT amplifier. Fine. So here the procedure will remain similar to what I discussed. So we will discuss the effect of all the capacitors one by one, fine. Or we will see the cutoff frequency due to individual capacitor one by one. First we will see the cutoff frequency uh, due to the input coupling capacitor CCI. When we consider input coupling capacitor, see it carefully please. The Resistance seen, this is input terminal of the amplifier, that gate is input terminal. So the resistance seen from this side is Ri, that is input resistance of the amplifier. And in this case, input resistance of the amplifier, these terminals are open circuited. So the circuit to the right side of this gate side, uh, gate terminal to the right side will have no effect on the input side. Fine. I hope concept is clear. Because this is open, so this side will not have effect on this side at all. So, you have to find what cutoff frequency because of this will be what? Cutoff frequency because of the input coupling capacitor will be 1 by 2 pi R equivalent into CCI. R equivalent is thevenin's equivalent resistance seen across the terminals of input coupling capacitor. But when you consider the effect of input coupling capacitor, all the remaining capacitors are replaced by short circuit. When you take one capacitor at a time, replace other capacitors by short circuit. When I am considering input coupling capacitor, I have replaced source bypass capacitor and output coupling capacitor by short circuit. Fine. So for finding out the effect or frequency response due to input coupling capacitor, what do we do? The cutoff, since it is coming in series with the source, so this must be what 
high pass RC circuit and cutoff frequency of high pass RC circuit is what 1 by 2 pi R equivalent into capacitance capacitance is CCI what is this R equivalent R equivalent is nothing but the resistance that is thevenin's equivalent resistance seen across terminals of the capacitor what do, how do you find open the terminals of the capacitor and try to see the resistance seen across those terminals but simultaneously the voltage source independent voltage source has to be replaced by short circuit and if there is an, an independent current source that has to be replaced by open circuit this is the rule of finding the thevenin equivalent resistance in circuit theory fine so you open the terminals when you open the terminals you can see this resistance come to this and go back to the terminal like this come here ground come back and come to this point so here what do we get the r equivalent that is thevenin equivalent resistance seen across terminals of capacitor is nothing but rs in series with input resistance of the amplifier which is what is the input resistance of this amplifier here that is equal to the resistance rg so therefore r equivalent is nothing but rs plus rg so therefore the cutoff frequency due to input coupling capacitor will be 1 by 2 pi rs plus rg into input coupling capacitor that is the first cutoff frequency fine Similarly, I have to find the uh, coupling capacitor. Uh, uh, please make a correction here. Uh, this coupling capacitor is between terminal of R and D. So this is D. This is terminal D. So this coupling capacitor has to be here. That was the wrong place where I have shown that. Please you can make correction if you are making notes on your copy. Fine. So that has to be between this low resistance and d terminal d terminal d is the point where this rd lower terminal is point is connected fine so that is one simple correction in your circuit now this is the first case now in second case what do we do we will again try to find out the cutoff frequency due to output coupling capacitor so we will consider only output coupling capacitor remaining input coupling capacitor and source bus bypass capacitor will be replaced by short circuit when you replace this by short circuit replace it by short circuit and the procedure remains same cutoff frequency due to that is effect due to cc naught will be what that is second cutoff frequency that is 1 by 2 pi r equivalent into cc naught why i am taking like this because this capacitor is again coming in series with output terminal so this must be simply high pass rc circuit fine now this side is high pass rc circuit now see it carefully for finding out the thevenin equivalent resistance seen across the output coupling capacitor so that is r equivalent replace input by short circuit when input is replaced by short circuit then this is vgs will be zero why because there is no source at all fine and this is grounded so this terminal is ground there is no source here this is grounded vgs will be zero and this dependent voltage dependent current source will be open circuited fine and if you see the now start from here come to this ground there are two grounds so this and this will be in parallel if you see from here this resistance and this resistance this will be in series why because start from here come to the ground come back so there are two paths now between d and ground one is this another is this for the current fine so it means r equivalent here will be what that is rl load resistance r equivalent for this output coupling capacitor will be rl plus why because when you come here this will be appearing in series with rl but r naught and rd are in parallel with each other and this is if you see the output resistance from here if you see the resistance from output terminal that is output resistance and that is nothing but rd and r naught in parallel so this is the output resistance of the amplifier you should remember it directly fine so here I will rewrite it like this. The cutoff frequency 
ड्यू टू आउटपुट कपलिंग कैपेसिटर विल बी वन बाय टू पाए आर एल प्लस आउटपुट रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द एम्पलीफायर इंटू सी सी नॉट और दैट इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टू पाए आर एल प्लस आर नॉट इन पैरल विद आर डी इन टू सी सी नॉट दैट इज आउटपुट कपलिंग कैपेसिटर दैट्स इट दिस इज सिंपल ट्राई टू रिमेंबर इट इफ यू कैन रिमेंबर देर कैन बी न्यूमेरिकल इन गेट एग्जाम और इन इंजीनियर सर्विसेज प्रिलियम्स और मेन्स एग्जाम फाइन so this is the simple expression of cut off frequency due to output coupling capacitor now we will try to find out the effect of what that is this was second case third case is effect of cs that is source bypass capacitor and that procedure will be similar to what we discussed earlier in case of bjt but let us see that procedure now now for finding out the effect of coupling capacitor our source bypass capacitor replace it by short circuit replace it by short circuit open the terminals of this see the resistance seen across this fine it is uh, just to make you simplify otherwise you get confused by the ground again and again this is something like this i have made one common ground when you see resistance from this side so this rs this side is open so this will not uh, have effect on this when you replace input by short circuit for finding the thevenin equivalent resistance seen across cs this is zero so this will be open so what will be r equivalent that is nothing but rs plus this c from the rs in parallel not plus this rs will be in parallel with the this combination which is nothing but r not plus rd in parallel with rl if you start from here this is in parallel but in this branch go like this so this is r not come here this becomes parallel combination so this parallel plus this r not is in parallel with rs so this is what i am trying to say but and that is equal to suppose rs dash so the cut off frequency due to the source bypass capacitor will be 1 by 2 pi cs into rs dash and you know what is rs dash fine so that is how we can find the third cut off frequency of the third low cut lower cut off frequency of the amplifier and if you see the frequency response of the amplifier this is gain of the voltage gain suppose maximum gain is av not but that is flat band but at lower frequency it starts reducing if you remember the low pass response low frequency response at certain frequency this is suppose av not by root 2 and that is fl1 maybe because of input coupling capacitor but there is another frequency which gives the gives the cut off frequency that is fl2 because of output coupling capacitor and there is another cut off frequency that is cut off frequency due to what source bypass capacitor so there are three cut off frequencies in the amplifier and which is effective cut off frequency highest among three cut off frequency while in case of high pass circuit the highest cut off frequency is the overall cut off frequency of the amplifier so again just like bjt remember highest what is the important question here objective type question i am saying highest among cut off frequencies due to input coupling capacitor output coupling capacitor and source bypass capacitor is overall cut off frequency of the amplifier so that will be overall cut off frequency of the amplifier fine so this is the point to be remembered so whichever is highest among these three frequency that will be effective or overall cut off frequency because if if this frequency is reducing the gain so these two becomes meaningless so in case of high pass circuit if there are multiple cut off frequencies the highest one is the overall cut off frequency this is very important question from engineering services point of view or important from gate point of view as well so 
this is all about the low frequency response of MOSFET amplifier. Now, on, uh, now after this we will talk about the high frequency response of BZT and MOSFET amplifiers. When we talk about, if you remember, if you recall the small signal analysis of BJT and MOSFET amplifier, that was basically mid-band response. Mid-band response, response means response above highest cutoff frequency and response below lowest higher cutoff frequency. Fine. So that was basically gain or response at mid-band. That is above lower cutoff frequency and below higher cutoff frequency. Fine. Now we are talking about the response at low frequencies and response at high frequencies. So in next video, we will be talking about the high frequency response. But before that, we will see small, small topics which will be building blocks for the further analysis of high frequency response of BJT and MOSFET amplifiers. So just wait for my next video to come. Thank you very much for watching the video.